I was very excited uh, and happy to see what you brought in today for us to look at and what can you tell me about it and how long have you had it? I've had it about four years. Uh, it's a C96 Mauser broom handle and that's about really all I know. Well you're right, it is a, uh, a Mauser broom handle uh, also known as a C96 military pistol and uh, it is uh, ex extraordinary in that it's in original casing uh, from a famous uh, maker, Wesley Richards, who was an agent in England. This, this pistol was sold all, all over the world and uh, by both military and uh, civilian use. It was used in every major conflict, including um, Winston Churchill is known to have carried one just like this in the Boer War. Oh, I didn't know that. And they were bought by China and uh, Italy and many countries in Scandinavia and all across the world and here in the United States. This particular one is particularly fascinating because, it, as I said earlier, it's in an English casing with Wesley Richards' name on it, who was a famous maker, and they were just an agent for Mauser. One of the most unique features about this holster is that you could hang it on your belt, but you could also take the pistol out of the holster and assemble it as a carbine, which made it a lot, you know, uh, more accurate at long ranges. And considering this was made in 1898, only the second year of production, um, it's quite, quite unusual to find one in this kind of condition. Do you have any idea what it might be worth? No, not really. Well, I think due to the extreme wonderful condition this one's in, and the fact that it's in an English casing and, and marked on the uh, frame as well with the, with the maker, and with the accessories, the cleaning rod, the oiler, and the uh, case, I think in today's uh, market, this gun could easily bring fourteen to sixteen thousand dollars. Really? Does that surprise you? A little bit. Yeah. Great. Well, I'm glad you brought it in today. It oh. really is an exceptionally nice pistol. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, thank you.